one, Lau Lau. Thank goodness you're home. Yes, we've been waiting for you. Why, is tea ready? No, the trains have bunged up. What? <laughs> yeah, it happened this morning. Well, why didn't Arthur do something about it? Well, he's painting the chairs, love. You know, he said he was going to paint the chairs today. Well, why didn't he stop painting the chairs and do something about it? As it so happened, I did. Oh, what'd you do? I nipped next door, borrowed the rod so you could do it. <laughs> Love it, Marvellous. Why is it I get all the dirty jobs in the house? I've been trying to do them all morning, Stan, with this. Oh, if it's bugged up that much, love, God, you'll never... Listen, you'll, you'll never do it with that. Well, it seems to be getting easier. Yeah. That's a good girl. Funny, it's getting easier, but the water isn't running away. <laughs> well, of course not. You broke the plunger, ain't you? Ah, oh, typical. She's so heavy-handed, everything she touches comes away in her hands. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, she never let a stroke to your head so much. <laughs> I think we can do without your cheap humour. Well, let's face it, mate, you've got a bit of gloss on your bunts and you're getting on them chairs. <laughs> you don't shut up, you'll get a hard gloss on your tonsils, mate. Now, now. He was only joking. What shall I do with this? <laughs> Well, get yourself another one, you've got a nice padded bra. I'm not going to help you now. Oh, I was only joking. The trouble with you is, no matter what you do, you never finish it. Oh, very true. <laughs> oh, all right, where's the rods? I'll screw them together and do it myself. Oh, you're not in your uniform, love. It's a very dirty job. Well, I'm not going to put my own clothes on to do it, am I? You should have a special set of clothes for doing jobs, mate. I have. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> Look, mate, I can always put it down to fair wear and tear. I call it flagrant dishonesty, mate. No wonder the fares are going up. <laughs> that uniform is given to you for work. I know the regulations. You are supposed to wear it on duty and when proceeding to and from duty, and that is all. And there's nothing in the regulations to say that I can't unbung a drain on my way to duty. And as it so happens, I go through the back way on my way to duty, right? Right, now, come and give us a hand with a manhole cover. It weighs a ton. Go on. I'm very sorry. I want to finish this chair. Oh, in any case, love, I don't think he should strain himself lifting that manhole cover. You know what the doctor said after he had his operation? <laughs> God, that was years ago. That's very convenient, ain't it? Just because of his operation, he can't manage to lift up the manhole cover. Oh, no, Stan, there's lots of other things he can't manage as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can understand. <clears throat> right, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I'll go and do it. Hey, Arthur. Oh, yeah. You better hold that brush with two hands, mate. Uh, well, you don't want to strain yourself and ruin the rest of your married life. <laughs> Here we are. That is a highly professional finish, though I say so myself. Ah, oh, it looks lovely. It's so clean looking. Yeah. That reminds me. How's Stan getting on with the drains? Has he unbunged them yet? No, the sink's still full. <laughs> Here! Stan! You all right? Yeah! I've got one of these rusted blunts and his rods are stuck! Here! He's lying on his stomach with his head down the drain. <laughs> Is he really? Three minutes he said he'd take to do that job, big head. Here! My son hasn't got a big head! Well, it's lucky, isn't he? Otherwise he might have got it bunged up one of the drains. <laughs> oh. Better empty the teapot near, Mum. Oh, yes, love. It's no use putting it down a drain. You can have that and all. Right, Al. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's running away! Lovely! Oh, oh God, I can throw all this lot down there now. Oh, oh it's going away! Beautiful! Oh, look, Arthur, there can't be anything in the way of that now. Oi! Who's just in the grade? <laughs> it would appear there was something in the way after all. <laughs> Oh, what? 
mop your face with that, then have a nice bath now. Here, here. Get yourself cleaned up before you have a bath, you bung the drains up again. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd hell of a job on bunging it. What the hell have you been pouring down the sink? Well, it might have happened when I threw away the last of Olive's mutton stew. <laughs> well, God, if that's what her stew does to a four-inch drain pipe, God knows what it's going to do to our stomachs. <laughs> if you'd eaten it all, we wouldn't have had to put any down the sink. No, but then we'd have needed rotting out, wouldn't we? Oh, shut up. <laughs> nah, it wasn't only that, though. There was a, a, lot of, a load of muck stung. It was all bunged up with a big, great big wedge of stuff and a load of other stuff and everything. Look, it might have happened. Also, I threw down a bit of Olive's semolina and custard pudding. <laughs> Well, he shouldn't have thrown that away. Oh, you did like it then? No, we could have mixed them both together and bunged the holes up in the front bath. Oh, and that be nasty, now. Nasty? It's all right for you to talk. You wasn't down there like I was. Look here, you haven't half made a mess of your uniform. And... Oh, I told him he should have had another set of clothes. Oh, he'll have to go to the cleaners again. No, I won't bother about it. I've had it over a year now. I'll go to the depot and get myself another one. Those uniforms are supposed to last you two years, mate. Yes, it doesn't matter. I'll tell them I've got it messed up on the bus. Oh, love, I don't think they're going to believe you. I mean, nobody could get a suit like this just driving a bus. I don't know. Your clothes get twice as dirty just being a passenger on one of his buses. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, if this don't convince old Blakey, I'll just chuck some more stains over it, that's all. I don't think that's necessary, mate. The way you eat it will happen automatically. A couple of meals should do it. <laughs> All this talk of food's make me hungry. I think I'll lay the table for two. Yeah, well, mind the check. That would seem great. Look, look what you made me do. I didn't touch you. Never mind, either. All great artists leave their signature. You've left your fingerprints. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Get me a cloth. No, no, don't wipe it on there. Why be on my uniform? I'm getting a new one tomorrow. Oh, Stain! What? Oh, really? I said. Hi, oh, darling. Hi, oh, doll. You coming in? Yeah, hang on a bit. No, I've just put in a new look uniform. Oh, yeah? Yeah, old black is just gone in it with a form. Oh, good. Like that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. I've checked your clothing issue form, and you can have a new uniform. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Six and a half months' time. <laughs> Six and a half months' time? You must be joking. This, this is all worn out, mate. It's all greasy. I'll tell you something else. It's very dangerous driving in this, you know. I'll tell you what. What are you talking seat, about? Well, the seat of my trans pants, they're, they're so shiny that every time I brake, I slide off the seat. That's got nothing to do with a uniform, Butler. That's the way you blooming will drive, mate. <laughs> every time you clap the brakes and half the passengers slide off the seat and all. <laughs> Funny. I'll tell you, it's all worn out. I'll, even the cleaners won't take it. No, look at him. Even his buttons are rusty. Oh, yeah. That's not rusty, it's a tomato suit, look. <laughs> ah, there it is, but look. Look at that, the mucky pup. Look, he's all over your sleeve. Look at it, look. Oh, I took my back off. Look, 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 look at it, look. Swimming with oil, that is. When you ah. put on your hair, mate, you can fry a pair of kippers in it. Look at it. Look. <laughs> Yeah, by the uh, smell of it, I think he has. <laughs> on second look, I think you'll have to have a new uniform. Ah, yeah, I thought you'd agree. Yeah, so I'll make out a chitty. It costs you £24. <laughs> £24? But, hey, you agreed. Butler, the company only supply a new uniform every two years. If you wear one out before that, it's your bloody funeral, mate. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, come off it, Blakey. You're always talking to us about public relations. Well, how do you think the public feel when they see him walking about like that? Yeah. Blooming sight safe, I should think. <laughs> they know you're not driving the bus. <laughs> oh, stop being funny. I'll tell you, this is all worn out. It's worn out from driving the bus. But, lad, I know you, uh, busman. All you do is you take that uniform home and you do mucky jobs about the us, and then when it's worn out, you expect the company to provide a new one. Well, you're not going to get one, mate. I'll tell you, it's fair wear and tear. But, lad, I am not going to bandy words with you. All I can say is, is I'll have it cleaned at the company's expense, yeah? It won't stand cleaning. Rubbish. Now, you get that bus out. You're late out. You won't... Oh, the... no. oh stingy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. I know a bloke who runs a cleaner's business. He'll put that right. What are you talking about? Don't you worry, mate. By this type of honour, you'll have a new uniform. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is your driver, then? He's three minutes late now. No, oh, well, he's collecting his uniform from the cleaners. He's changing now. Oh, well, let's hope they've got some of them stains out, then. Oh, yeah, they have. <laughs> Make no mistake about that. Yeah. Oh, here he comes now, look. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, mate. What's, uh, what's this? Oh, this, this 
is my uniform, yeah. I took it to cleaners, had it clean, like you said. Look, it's a ticket here. Ooh. Uh, Jack, shall we get the bus out, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Oh, Game about, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go around in a uniform like that. Why not? It's clean. Yeah, what's left of it? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, I suppose I'd better let you have a new uniform. It's the only way out of it. You better come in the office, I'll make out a chicken. Oh, my God. Well, you know this is going to cost the company £24, don't yeah. you? Actually, it's going to cost a bit more than that. Eh? Well, Why? The, well, there was a quid for having it clean, see? <laughs> well, that, that should only be ten bob, shouldn't it? Ah, yeah, but you see, I have to have it retexturized to take the shine out. <laughs> Of him, Mummy's jealous. Yes, it's such a lovely fit, isn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, oh, especially round the back. I was lucky, you know, it's the last one to fit me on the peg there. Yes. And there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I've just nipped over to show it to you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I've only had it 20 minutes. Oh. You do surprise me. I'd have thought less. It's still clean. <laughs> <laughs> just him. I'll get a nice cup of tea. Yeah, good idea, Mum. I might have one home while I'm yes. here. Chair, a second coat of paint. <laughs> what? Has it come off? Has it come off? What's the matter with you? You could have warned me. I told you the paint was wet. You talking about the cabinet? I gave that chair a second coat, you great idiot. We get it out of the way before some other fool goes. You great idiot! <laughs> oh, Stan, what's happened? It's his new uniform. Why is it all white on the back? <laughs> They make them like that so they can see me in the dark. <laughs> Stupid. Why did Arthur go to put another coat of paint on that chair? Oh, he wanted to take the marks of his fingerprints off. <laughs> well, I've got the fingerprints off, now I've got his bottom marks all over it. Come on, now, give yeah. me that. Here, try and get this all quick. Yes, Come right on. Now, do you? Now, let's lay it on there, then. Don't mind it out of the yes, way, Mum. Right. right. Arthur, get that white spirit. Yes. I threw the last of it down the sink. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you hurry, mate, you'll catch it. Have a quick sit in the manhole. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being funny! Uh, we've got some bleach. You took the black currant stains out of my white blouse. I want to get the white bits black, not the black bits white. <laughs> Here, love, some detergent. Here, go find that stain remover. Oh, right. That's not going to do any good. That paint sets rock hard in half an hour. What? Well, get it off. You put it on there. Get it off. Get it off. Quick. Oh, blimey, that's gone right through, mate. That's setting hard already. <laughs> get it off. All right, all right. There's only one sure way to get paint off in that state. Uh, what's that then? Bend over. Oh. Right, OK. Yeah. I'll do the best with me blow then. <laughs> what are you messing about it? Well, that's the only way to get paint off like that. Well, do something. Get it off. Get it. I'll tell you what. Rub hard with that, you'll get the worst off. Well, that's going to do a fat not a good mate. Well, rub yeah. hard, rub hard. Look it's here. Not touching I've got it. this little wire brush. This gets everything off. Well, give me a second. Yeah. Right, right. Grit your teeth, yeah, mate. Yeah, Right. Oh! Oh! What are you doing? Well, the paint's not coming off. No, but the paint, the skin's coming off me. Oh. <laughs> You're making a bit of a bend over, bend over. I'll try and scratch it off. <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing? I'm trying to get something off his trousers. Well, I didn't think you were trying to get something out of his eye. <laughs> Well, what sort of paint is it? This stuff Art has been using, it's on the draining board there. Well, let's have a look at it. <laughs> Polyurethane, diamond hard in half an hour, resists boiling water and hammer blows. Well, that's handy. <laughs> oh, God, it's all right. What's Blake 
you going to say? Gordy didn't want to give me this one in the first place. Oh, well, there's only one thing you can do, mate. Get what? straight down to the depot. The maintenance blokes have got some stuff that'll take the paint off anything. Oh, stop talking like an idiot. How can I walk about the depot like that? Well, put your overcoat on. <laughs> oh, good old Jack, yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. Well, yeah. hurry up, mate. The quicker the better. Yeah, yeah. yeah, have they really got something down the depot to get the paint off? Mrs B, what he's got on his uniform is nothing compared with what we have to get off the seats of our buses on a Saturday night. <laughs> Aren't it? Sometimes it's like spring cleaning at the zoo. Go on, hurry up, we've got a walk. What, all the way? When you're in a hurry, you don't catch one of our buses. <laughs> well, I suppose I've got to paint that all over again. Just look at it. Lumps of fluff all over the place. Can I help, Arthur? No, you cannot. <laughs> I've had enough trouble. Keep out of the way. Keep back. Look at that here. Oh, no, no, Arthur! No. What's the matter now? I, I sat on the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> you and your brother I don't know why I married into this family. Oh, well, Arthur, you can't go through life without a little accident now and then. Little accident? I had my big accident ten years ago, didn't I? Walking up the aisle of that church. <laughs> right. Oh. Ah. You're still here, then? I uh, thought you'd finished. Uh, yeah, we have... Uh, no, we, uh, we just popped back for a bite in a canteen. Yeah. You come back here to eat in our canteen. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were stone bonkers, mate. <laughs> oh. oh, I got it. What? I get it. You came back here to show off your new uniform, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you've seen it yet? What's it like? It's very good. It's a good fit. Oh, let's have a look, then. Uh, uh, no, I'd rather keep my overcoat on. Oh, I get it. Want to keep it clean, do you? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course, yeah. <laughs> the way you eat in a canteen, mate, you want to keep that coat on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Jack. Yeah. Come on, let's have a look at it. No, no, I'd rather keep the overcoat on. Butler, it's my job to check these things out. Come on, let's have a look at it. Well, all right. I mean, right. No, it's not. I don't mind you uh, having a look at it. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's not bad at yeah, all. It's a very nice it's fit. What do you like round the back? It's very nice, yeah. No, it's very nice. It's, no, it, it, it's absolutely marvellous. Nice. It's like yeah. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Come on, Stan, I'm starving. Yeah, I can't show you. I'm he's starving. <laughs> I'll take you, I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah. Look. Now, look. We've got to get that off as quick as we can. Well, I don't know much about it. I'll just bash him out. The painter's gone for a cup of tea. Well, well, surely you know what they used to take paint off with. Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, hey, here it is. Oh, oh, strip it. This is it. That's it. You paint it on with a brush. You leave it for 30 seconds, and then it softens the paint right down. That's it. That's that's just the stuff that's we want. Right. No, no, not on that. Start with me trousers first. Yeah, yeah right on that. Right. Here, yeah. Nobby, keep an eye out for Blakey, yeah. will you? Yeah. yeah. Hey, go careful with that stuff. Yeah. If you get it on your hand, it burns the skin right off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. There we go. Eighteen. I want you two to take it out. Come on. No, no, we can't take that out. What are you talking about, Butler? It's overtime, boy. Yeah, I know. But... <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah, well, Where's your trousers? Well, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, I was going to explain. You see, um... uh, look. I know you want to keep your uniform clean, yeah. boy, but I mean this is blooming ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> I mean you can't go wandering round the depot like that with no trousers. All these women working here. Yeah, he knows that. That's why he's wandering about the depot like that. <laughs> no, lecturer's moron. You see, Blakey, what happened was this was just. Uh, oh was yeah, that, well now what it was, uh, he took his trousers, trousers down to the clothing store clothing to stores. have them altered, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, and uh, yes, and uh, you see, they was too uh, short. 
I'm sorry. Madame Langford. Langford. See? Well, ain't it from him, Margaret? <laughs> if you're so particular, why don't you go to Savile Row and have them fitted? <laughs> well, I can't wait for you to get ready, mate. Listen, I'll run another group at 618. You'll let her go out early tomorrow morning, right? <laughs> Well, get your trousers on, Butler. All right, then. Uh... <laughs> you don't half get yourself in a mess, don't you? Me? Come on. Let's get on. Have a look. Just cut. Here's, here's, here's to do it. Here's yeah. to do the trick. Give it a brush. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. It's coming off. <laughs> it's going a funny colour. It's all going brown. <laughs> Why is it when I brush my coat, it's going brown, then? Because you're not brushing your coat, you're brushing the bench. <laughs> <laughs> You've done too long. Yeah, I think you're right. Just oh. have a look at the trousers. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> oh, well, it might have been worse. What are you talking about? You might have been wearing them. <laughs> 24 quid, you make me pay. I've got 24 quid. Well, there's only one thing you can do, mate. Go down to the clothing store and hope they can fiddle you something. Well, go on, mate. You've got to wear something tomorrow morning. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Jack. Yeah. You murder me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, why? No, I'm sorry, Stan. I'd like to help you, but I can't let you have anything without a chitty. It's more than my job's worth. Anyway, we haven't got a uniform here your size. You had the last one. Well, well I've had it then, haven't I? Hey, George, can you do us a favour? Can you patch this one up for us? What? <laughs> you must be joking. Don't be daft, mate. You can see that down here from the dust cart. Yeah. Can you get into a 40? A 40? I'll get into a 50. Anything you like. Well, what you got? Uh, well, you can have old Ernie's. Oh, thanks, mate. He retired yesterday. Did he really? <laughs> 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 you sure it was yesterday? Uh, Go away. Hi, mate. Hi, Blackie. Oh, morning, Butler. <laughs> <laughs> Butler? Hmm? Is that your new uniform? Uh, yes, yes, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, I always knew you were the dirtiest, scruffiest driver in the old depot, mate, but I mean to say, you, you've only had that uniform for one day. It looks like you've been wearing it for blooming years. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, well, you see, you get your filthy on our buses. But you haven't driven one of our buses in that uniform yet. I know, but I can't work on one. <laughs> it's disgusting. I mean, it's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, you'd better give me another chitty then, hadn't you? Hey? What for? Well, so I can have it cleaned at the company's expense. 